Well, I think it's really valuable to um, look at, you know, what are the um, um, criteria for good um, psychotherapeutic outcome? And uh, when we're dealing in, in the terms of psychotherapy, and a lot of it has to do with the therapist and patient or client uh, relationship. So it's uh, about developing a safe container uh, for whoever you're working with. And, um, and so there's actually factors that people have found, which, um, you know, so the therapist's ability for empathy, um, to be able to get inside the uh, clients or patients, uh, uh, under, understanding the way they're thinking or how they're thinking and the way they're feeling, um, a genuineness of the therapist, um, a sense of um, honesty within the relationship to some degree, um, and there's other factors involved, which I could go on and list if you want. Um, and part of what that is, I mean, compassion, it, first of all, let's, let me define compassion, okay? Um, compassion is a recognition of the suffering that exists within another or within oneself, if it's self-compassion within yourself, okay? And um, so it's not only the recognition, it's not an intellectual thing, it's an emotional thing. So you feel the other person suffering. Empathy is the ability to feel what another person is feeling. And, um, and as well, in compassion, there's a desire, desire to alleviate that suffering. Okay? So the desire to alleviate that suffering. And, um, and so that's part of what compassion is. So there's an intention towards recognizing and acknowledging or validating what another person is experiencing. And, um, you know, if I were to ask a show of hand here, who here doesn't like to be validated. <laughs> exactly. So every human being has a desire to be validated. It's a need, right? And so um, there's a piece in that of, of what's my intention, you know, when I'm, when I'm with someone. That's my genuine intention. So I think that's one piece so that we have to remember when we're dealing with someone. And, and again, um, I was, looking up, I was looking up the definition of accountability. I think for me, um, it, it has to do more not so much with accountability, and I think that's probably perhaps more within the, you know, talking about the workplace situation, but it has to do with um, um, responsibility, and our, which means not, it's not responsibility, I mean, it's our ability to respond. Does that make sense? To situations. And, and our ability to, um, um, recognize that we have impact and to look at what our impact might be in the world and as a patient or as a, as a um, you know as a client and um, that's hard for many people I mean many people don't think they have any impact in the world or impact at all is that fair to say right and so part of what that is is in I think in that piece of compassion or in that piece of empathy and letting that person know that they matter to, to me, that helps them recognize that they do have impact, they matter, and that helps with the sense of responsibility. So that's one lens through which I can, I can talk about this, and there's many, many other lenses. We could be here for five hours, but I'll let Barry talk a little bit. <laughs>